Welcome back to Through the Bible. Today we will listen to the story of the Israelites in the promised land. The Israelites took Jericho. Joshua chapter 6. The Canaanite kings were very much afraid of the Israelites, especially when the news reached them of the dry crossing of the river Jordan. But the city of Jericho was still a danger to God's people. Joshua one day walked across to inspect the city from close by and to see what they would have to do to overcome it. Near the city, suddenly he saw a man standing, a soldier with a sword in his hand. Joshua challenged him, Are you for us? or for our enemies and the answer came no i am the prince of the lord's army and i have come to help straight away joshua threw himself to the ground and worshiped and said what has the lord to say to his servant joshua knew this was not a man nor even an angel but the lord himself the lord told joshua to take off his shoes because he was standing in a holy place and then he told him all that the israelites must do to capture the city of jericho during the next 7 days joshua made the israelite soldiers do as the lord had said each day led by the priests carrying the ark of the covenant and blowing trumpets made of ram's horns the soldiers marched around the city they did not shout or raise any war cry but simply followed the priests the puzzled people of jericho watched as the israelites repeated their march around the city walls six days in a row on the seventh day early in the morning the priests and the soldiers marched again but this time they circled the city seven times the people of jericho watched as the priests and army marched around their city seven times in a row at the end of the seven circuits joshua told them all to raise a mighty shout and when they did the walls of the city fell down flat except the part on which rehab's house was built into the city poured the israelite soldiers and killed all the people of jericho except rehab and her family because joshua ordered the two spies to find rehab's house marked with a scarlet cord in the window and led her family to safety there were great treasures in the city gold and silver copper and iron but the israelite soldiers took nothing for themselves all was taken for the treasure of god's tabernacle from that time rehab became an israelite and married one of the princes of juda one of her descendants many years later was david the great king of israel and our lord jesus christ was the son of david so rehab by faith became a member of the most blessed family that has ever been